Crafty Babes. It's Andrea. I have something kind of fun to share with you today. I, uh, I wonder if anybody is behind on their Project Life album. Hmm. I'm definitely one of them. And I knew going into December that I was going to do all that I could to try to get caught up. I was, um, I was about six to eight weeks behind in Project Life. And, and that that's okay, that normally doesn't bother me, but I knew December was coming up and, and when December is here, it's a month where I really just focus on December daily and I don't work on my Project Life album at all. And so I knew that was gonna be kind of a lost month of time to work on it. So I was trying to think of a way to um, get my process going and maybe help myself along the way and decided to do like batch processing. So I already had all of my photos printed out, but what I did was I, um, I took a, you know, a weekend day where I would have normally done an entire week spread from start to finish. And I actually just picked cards, laid out the photos and the cards that I wanted to use, and then I stopped and I moved to the next week. And so now what I have is several weeks, actually, I think like eight weeks um, of just pages that are ready to be embellished and journaled on. And I feel like this really worked for me because in the amount of time that it would normally take me to do, let's just say a full 12 by 24 page spread would probably take me two hours. Um, maybe even more. If I'm in my groove of project life, then it could take me less, but sometimes an entire layout can sit on my desk for several hours because I kind of, I get distracted because it's such a big project that I have to walk away from it every now and then. So for example, this is week 34 and I, I had all my photos. I picked cards that I picked cards that matched cards that I would have normally used And this process alone, just picking cards that match and deciding where things are going to go as far as getting them balanced and stuff that takes a long time and it takes a lot of thought. So I figured that once I was done with all of this creative thought that it takes me then so much longer to continue on with this page and do the embellishing and the journaling and all of that. Um, so once I did this section, which probably only took me about 15 minutes, to select the cards, decide where everything was gonna go. And then I went to the next page. Now ignore this because this is a finished and completed page that I did way before I got to this stage. Um, this is just where it falls in the timeline. So then I got to the next page and this page maybe took me 15 minutes. So what I'm saying is the time that I would have spent just completing one full page, I ended up getting and prepping about four or five weeks worth. That's a, I'm, if I'm remembering correctly, cause it's been a little while since I've, since I, I did these, but now, now I get to just, Hey, oh my gosh, this thinking part is all done for me. And when I am ready to get to week 35, I'm going to be able to just go through my embellishments and pull out some light blue and some teal and some corals and reds maybe and just have fun and then and i'm not saying that the choosing the cards and layout process isn't fun that's actually my favorite part i really love that challenge like it's like a puzzle of like figuring out how it's all going to go together but it is a lot of it is a lot of work as far as you're using a lot of creativity to think about that and then you're having to do more creativity to embellish and journal remember all your stories and all of that jazz so uh like an assembly line i kind of just did these in batches and now i can come in here and real quickly jot down my stories and embellish which i think is going to be so much more efficient and this is about where I stopped because 
Um, I actually still have another three weeks that I did not have a chance to get prepped before I started working on my December album. So I have, yeah, this is week 37. I have weeks 38, 39, and 40 because I did 41. And then I did all the way up through when the album is going to finish. Um, so all of this is all prepped and ready to go. And yeah, I'm not gonna get this all done in a, a <laughs> in a weekend. This is probably another couple of months worth of, of weekends, but at least I'm not sitting with an empty album and, um, and just photos sitting in my bucket. You know, I'm, I'm not struggling with being so far behind that I have nothing completed for these weeks. Um, I feel like I'm really ahead of the game. And with my December daily being finished now and me being completely and utterly sick of Christmas uh, supplies, I am really excited to get back into some bright colors and playing with all of my other supplies. I'm really excited to do these pages. Um, and yeah, I just hope that this has worked uh, like I hope that it would. <laughs> um, and so it is, it's also just a, a reminder to you and maybe a suggestion to you if you're feeling behind, maybe take that 15 or 20 minutes and prep a page and then maybe move on to the next page, prep another page. Just when I'm working with just my cards and photos, I feel like once I did a couple, I was so in my groove and I was like, oh, check this out. This photo, this photo, this photo, this photo, these are the supplies I'm using. And, and when you're going through your cards all together, like, you know, I'm going through my cards for this week, right? And I pass by and I see cards that I'm not using, but then they're in my memory and they're fresh in my mind. And then when I'm ready to do this one, I'm like, oh yeah, I have this card that I just passed, that would be perfect, you know? So when you're more intimate with your cards and papers, when you're doing this batch process, that's kind of what happened with me was that I was uh, just more involved in the cards that were in my stash and I could remember what I had a lot more easily. And then I wasn't going, oh, I just, I forgot to use that card or I wonder if I have a card for this. You know, I just felt like I knew my supplies a lot more intimately after doing this batch process. So I just wanted to give you a quick little uh, look in inside kind of the process that I had decided to do to get myself to the end of the year. And I hope that if you're feeling behind that maybe this is something that you can do as well. Uh, so that you can make some progress and not feel um, not feel so behind. And, and I do just also want to remind you that being behind is okay. I've kind of resigned to the fact that, you know, if I'm all caught up, I'm not living, I'm not living my life. I must have no photos left. So being behind is really, is really okay. But I know some people are behind a year or more, and this might be the way to go because at least they're in here, right? They're not sitting in a box, you've used your supplies, and then you can come back and just go, you know what, I just wanna have fun playing on a page and it's already half done for me. So again, I just hope that maybe you, maybe this is a good suggestion for uh, if you're feeling super behind or if you're feeling like you just need uh, a few weeks of catching up and this might be the way to go, so. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day and we'll talk really soon. Bye.